Hello all, welcome back. So in previous video, we have seen what is a divot AI and what are the different use cases of divot AI. So by default, divot AI is not enabled for your Google Cloud or your Google Workspace. So you have to follow certain steps to get access to this divot AI and then only you can use this divot AI. So I already followed these steps and I am using a divot AI. I am doing some research on the divot AI as a champion innovator program. I got early access and I am doing some research and my own study on the divot AI and I can send feedback to the Google as well on that. But for you, if you need to use a divot AI, you have to request for access. So I will show you and I will walk you through the steps how we can request access and how we can start using a divot AI. Okay. So to enable divot AI access for your Google Cloud project or to use a divot AI in your VS Code as well, you need to get access in your google cloud for divot ai so for this you have to follow these steps you can see uh, the documentation here first you have to apply for divot ai access then you have to activate divot ai in your google cloud project and then you can use in your id like a vs code or in your a cloud shell as well okay so first we'll see how to apply for access so go here and it will ask you to fill application form as i already filled it it will just simply give me a thank you note that i already or they will send me the confirmation email but i already received a confirmation email so first thing remember during this process it will take a couple of days and first once you apply for this access you will receive first email for a waitlist confirmation okay so this is a waitlist confirmation email okay and here after this you will get one confirmation email then you will get one invitation that your access is approved and like your access is approved it means they agreed that you can use a divot AI and then they will request you to fill another form where you can submit your project number okay so i'll show you all the emails i received so first email you see this is a waitlist confirmation email i received then this is for a workspace access i applied for workspace access but first we'll see on a google cloud so first the waitlist confirmation then it will show you are invited okay and in this you are invited you have to submit the project number here once you click on the get started it will ask you to submit your project number and once you submit the project number it will send you the confirmation as well as it will show the final email as access granted okay so this is official access granted it means you can use a divot ai on that project now how you can see if divot ai is enabled for your project or not enabled for your project okay so this is the first step after that you have to enable one api okay so you see this cloud companion api you have to enable cloud ai companion api that you have to enable using the cloud shell and also you need to give access to user this role cloud ai companion user so the steps are here i already followed this step these are very easy steps to enable api you have to just run this gcloud command to enable api and you have to give one role in the iim to yourself if you are trying do it AI for yourself okay and now I'll show how we can identify okay divot AI is enabled my project. So let me show you here. You see open divot AI pane here because I enabled divot AI for my TT Dev001 project. And for this prod project, there is no icon for divot AI. It means divot AI is not enabled for my this project, but it is enabled for this project. So I can open divot AI here and I can start chatting the way you start chatting your google bard or your chat gpt so it is embedded here itself on your console you can ask anything so this duet ai is filled with all documentation google cloud documentation huge amount of data as it is based on the google large language model okay so this is embedded here and it is enabled for your project now and you can just simply start chatting so here like different prompts it is giving example how does big table handle conflict so you can just ask anything i will just ask how to create storage bucket so it just give me the steps or gcloud command so you can see this is still uh, experimental and help you to navigate to the google cloud so they are giving document again it should give uh, the detailed steps but it is just navigating us to the other documents so we can ask more better way create gcs bucket so it depends on your prompt how prompts you are giving or the way you are asking okay 
so here it is giving the command now using this we can create a storage bucket so you can like there are multiple use cases how you want to use it's up to you what prompts you are using because this is still in experimental and lot of improvements are needed and the google team is working on all the improvement but yeah in this video that was the important point how to enable DVD and start using the DVD AI for this project so just wait for this final email once you get the final email you can start using your this access granted email so you can start using your DVD AI now in next video we will see how we can use DVD AI in a VS code how we can generate code how we can generate a python program how we can generate uh, like a terraform code just using a command or just using the prompt okay so we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching this video